Okay, so this video will be on the division algorithm for a, a on a polynomial field. This video is not about it's not to teach how to divide polynomials or that sort of thing, okay? This video is about polynomial rings, okay? Polynom polynomial rings. Okay. Okay, here we have the division algorithm. We are going to take two polynomials. So polynomial f of x, 3x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3, etc. And g of x, the other polynomial. And we are going to divide f of x, we are going to divide by g of x. Okay? But, um, so this will be on the field of polynomials, okay? Let's do this in the field of, for instance, z in the field of polynomials of z5. Okay, so we are dividing 3x to the power of 4 dividing by x squared, 3 dividing 1 is 3, in z5 we are okay, so 3 and x to the power of 2, right? Okay, I'm going to use here the algorithm of long division, and some other countries uh, with uh, people divide in a different way, so I, I will do both, okay? Okay. Okay, here we are. So the division is done. So 2x plus 1 is the remainder. Okay. So... That's this long polynomial. Plus 1. Now I can factor, right? So I say x squared plus 4x plus 2 times this one, right? 3x squared plus 4x, right? Plus the, the remainder. So the remainder will be 2x plus 1. Okay. Do, please do not forget we are in the field of polynomials with coefficients in Z5. Okay? So this would be an example of the algorithm division. Okay, I'm going to redo it because in other countries the long division is made in a different way. So this will be f of x, okay? And this will be g of x. So 3 3x to the power of 4 dividing x squared that will be 3x squared okay okay so 3x squared now 3x squared times 2 that would be minus 6x squared but what is minus 6? Or well, let's. Okay, we can do minus 6. If you go here, 0. Uh, let us do it this way. 2 times 3 is 6. But 6 in Z5, 4, 5, 6 is 1. So here, this will be simply minus x squared, right? Now, 3 times 2, uh, that will be x to the power of 3, no problem. 3 times 2, 12. But what is 12 in z5? 12 in z5 is, uh, if, if you are not used to this, just do 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 will be here. Okay, so this will be 2. Okay. Um, okay, so this should be 12, so that's 2, right? 2 here. But with a minus sign, right? And 3 times 1 is 3, 3 x to the power of 4 with a minus sign. Okay. Now here it should be 1. This should be 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So plus x uh, squared, right? Uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So 0 minus 1. Minus 1 is 4. This one is minus 1 in Z5, so this will be 4x cubed, and this will be 0, right? And we keep dividing. Now it will be 4 dividing 1, it will be plus 4x. So this will be 4, 2 times 4 is 8x, so minus 8x. 4 times 4 is 16. I'm, going, I'm, I'm doing this uh, directly and I'll see that in, in Z5 after. 4 times 4 is 16, minus 16. 4 times 1 is 4, so minus 4. This will be 0. And now what about these two? Here we have 1. Okay, so 1 is 1. Minus 8 in Z5 is 2x. And minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. Minus 15 in Z5 is 0. So you have 2x plus 1. Okay. So, so this will be... Um, so 3x to the power of 4, etc. will be factorized into this one. Right. This one times this one right here and this is the remainder here okay so I just divided both ways okay so I want quickly to go through uh, three corollaries and this will be corollary number one I'm going to do this really quickly because people that follow a group theory course are used to this stuff in algebra so the remainder theorem, let f be a field, a an element in the field, and f of x a polynomial in the field of polynomials. Then f of a is the remainder in the division of fx by x minus a. Of course you are used to this. Imagine you want to divide x squared plus 2 by x minus 1. So you're dividing x squared plus 2 dividing by x minus 1, right? Okay, meaning x squared plus 2, you want to divide this by x minus 1. So what the theorem says is f of a, this a here, so it is this one, right? So f of 1, if we come here and see what f of 1 is, what is f of 1? 1 here, this will be 3. Okay, you can check that if you divide x squared plus 2 by x minus 1, you're going to get x plus 1 and the remainder will be 3. Okay, this is the remainder theorem. Okay, the second corollary is the factor theorem. Let f be a field, a an element in the field, and f affects a polynomial in the field of polynomials. Then a is a zero of fx, if and only if x minus a is a factor of f of x. Okay, this is like in basic algebra. Okay, and I'll do the next corollary, a very important one. Uh, in the next video.